Hi, uh, in this uh, slide I want to look at uh, two learning how to learn concepts that are sort of flow together, the wheel of learning, and then doing uh, cheap, fast, small experiments or bets to fail forward towards uh, continuous improvement, innovation, uh, successful change management. Uh, the way this works is the wheel of learning has four stations. The first first thing we have to do is is ask questions, and the questions can come from good natural curiosity, and it can come from their problems to solve. Uh, it could come from greed. In other words, you know what? I'm not happy being where I am. I want to get ahead in life. I want to make more money. I want to be, uh, you know, a good provider. My kids go to college, and I need to raise a lot, make a lot more money to do that type of thing. So. Um, some people just have a, a high level of curiosity and uh, intellectual insight and ambition. Uh, so they see a lot more problems. And other people just don't see so many at all. They're just happy to just kind of, you know, watch the grass grow. So it's not everybody's natural aptitude or attitude to ask a lot of questions. Um, and, and then the second thing is once we ask a question, you know, we don't know. Uh, I mean, there are obviously a lot of things you can Google and get the answer, but, but uh, <laughs> you know, if it, if it involves innovation, we're always blazing new trails. And so uh, we have to come up with a theory. We say, well, you know, I have a theory or two, but that's all it is until we kind of go do some more research to, to very quickly find out that somebody already thought of that and disproved it or it, it does work and that's a, a path we can, you know, run down a bit. Um, but pretty quickly, what will happen is we'll run into places where it's like, well, there, there doesn't seem to be anybody who's done this before or, or done it the way we've done it or made it fit this particular context. So how will we know whether it's going to work or not? And the answer is, well, you know, we have to do so. We have to we have to try something. We have to do a little little experiment, make a little small bet. What if we just called our two most important customers that are the most friendly, progressive, open-minded kind of guys and said, you know, I got an idea. You know, could you give me your input or your thoughts? Could you be part of my brainstorming team? I mean, that's an experiment. They might say, well, no, I don't want to do that or I don't have any interest in that or whatever. But even if they say I don't have any interest in it, that sort of disabuses the theory that, oh, customers are going to love this. They're going to pay a lot of money for it or reward us big, handsomely for it. So what we have to do is design experiments and once we run an experiment, then we're going to get some sort of results, and we have to reflect the results. Did we learn anything or not? Was it, you know, successful? Um, and sometimes it's like, oh, my gosh, the customers love this. This is fantastic. Well, then we would jump in here and say, great, let's ask, uh, let's fine-tune it, push the wheel, but in a very focused way. Why do they love it exactly? And what would we do to make it perfect, just, you know, tuned for them? Well, I have a theory. So, well, let's go ask them some more, try some experiments and, and so forth. So we, we start to create a new product, if you will, and something that's scalable and something that can be sold to many customers. And, and there it is. That's, that's, that's the source of a, of, a, of a new platform for wealth. But a lot of times it's like, you know, we did this experiment, I'm sure, what we can conclude, and that would be suggesting that we actually designed a bad experiment because we want to make sure that this experiment's designed so that if it fails or succeeds, we're able to pinpoint why it did and, and learn from that. Uh, so we may just say, well, you know what, we, we, we might have asked the wrong question to begin with, and, or we weren't even looking at, at a problem, we were looking at a symptom. What is the root, root, root cause, you know, down here, the root cause? of this symptom and that's what we really need to start asking questions about and coming up with theories and around we go. Now, this brings up the sub issue of great. Well, that's good, but a couple things. What are good questions? Are we really a dealing with problem symptoms or, 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 or root causes? Uh, when we come up with theories, we could dive a little deeper in that category. When it comes to experiments, I've, I've put a little subset of things here, which is when I ask people, what's the definition of a good experiment, people usually say it's one that you learn from. And they kind of presuppose that these other things are going on. But if you're going to learn from it, you have to first of all plan it. Then you've got to actually do it. And a lot of people don't do it for fear or cost or whatever. Um, so if we plan a really good experiment and we design it very frugally, fast and cheap and simple, and it's only got one or two moving parts so that if it doesn't work, we know which part 
caused the problem, then we can learn. And then ideally we might actually, you know, make this iterative and go back and, and do it again smarter, which sort of also reflects this, the circle that we have in the wheel of learning, because what we learn, we'd say, we're back here at question one. Well, what did we learn? What did we learn? So what, what will we do next time to make it a better experiment? Well, let's just redesign the experiment. Let's do it and so forth. So these ideas of pushing the wheel of learning to zero in on, on, on well-designed experiments to then, this is a big concept here, failing forward. Uh, we're assuming we're going to fail. We're not going to take it personally, and we're ready for that. It's not, there's nothing, you know, we're not, there's nothing to be fear, f afraid of here. And it's forward because we're in the right niche, talking to the right customers uh, with the right trends, our friends for consolidating mature industries. Let's get to married on a demand replenishment system. And so what we're going to learn is very appropriate for where the, 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 the forces of our ecosystem are taking us. So we're moving towards a North Star, we're moving towards the right vision. Uh, but we'll get in much more involved in, in, the, in the sort of the details and, and adjectives that describe a very well-designed experiment and future modules. Thank you.